In this video, we're going to take a look at the order of operations, how we decide which order to do calculations in. At the very bottom of the order of operations, the very last thing we do is the most simple basic of operations, where we do any addition or subtraction. Because it's the most basic of operations, we will do it last. Before we do any addition and subtraction, working our way up the ladder here, we do repeated addition or repeated subtraction, which is more commonly called multiplying and dividing. Which is always done before any adding or subtracting. Again, before multiplying, we do more powerful operations, repeated multiplication, which we know as exponents. And so this becomes the order in which expressions are simplified, doing all the exponents first, then we multiply and divide, and then we add and subtract. A couple notes about this to clean it up, though. Multiplication and division must be done from left to right. Same with addition and subtraction. Addition and subtraction must be done left to right. Also, from time to time, we want to do some operation out of order. And the way we do it out of order, we give it priority by putting it in parentheses. When it's in parentheses, it means do this first before anything else. Parentheses always come first, then exponents, then multiplying and dividing, left to right, and then adding and subtracting, left to right. Some people help themselves remember this by coming up with some type of mnemonic, like, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, gives us the first letter, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally of each. Other people just take the first letters to come up with this word, PEMDAS. PEMDAS, which I always write vertically to remind me that multiplying and dividing is done left to right, and adding and subtracting is done left to right. But if you can remember PEMDAS, you can remember the order of operations. So let's take a look at an example. Our first example here is 5 minus 3 times 2 plus 4 squared. Order of operations tells me to do parentheses, exponents, multiply and divide, add and subtract. So first, we're going to look inside the parentheses to decide what is done first inside the parentheses. Inside the parentheses, we have the choice between an exponent or adding, and exponents come before adding. So let's do that exponent. Everything else stays the same. It's still 5 minus 3 times 2 plus, but now instead of 4 squared, it's 16. Continuing in the order of operations, we do the addition inside the parentheses, because the parentheses must be completed before anything else. 5 minus 3 times 2 plus 16 is 18. Now that the parentheses are done, we can continue working down. There's no exponents, so next we will do any multiplying and dividing. The 3 being right next to the 18 means 3 times 18, so that has to be done next. 5 minus 54. Finally, we can finish by doing any adding or subtracting that might be in the problem. 5 minus 54 gives us our final answer of negative 49. By following the order of operations, we're able to quickly find our solution. Let's take a look at example 2. Example 2, 30 divided by 5 times negative 2 plus 4 minus 7 squared has lots of operations in it. We'll remember to please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, or PEMDAS to help us remember the order. First, doing whatever's inside the parentheses. A common error people make is they try and do 5 times negative 2. That's incorrect, because the 5 is not inside the parentheses. Inside the parentheses would be the 4 minus 7. So we have 30 divided by 5 times negative 2 plus 4 minus 7 is negative 3 squared. Now we move down the list to the exponents. The exponents are the negative 3 squared. Everything else remains the same, 
30 divided by 5 times negative 2 plus negative 3 squared is 9. Continuing to move down, we multiply and divide. And it's really important to remember, multiplication and division are done from left to right. In this problem, we've got division and multiplication. The one that's done first is the one that comes first left to right. In this case, the division. 30 divided by 5 is 6 times negative 2 plus 9. And continuing with the multiplication and division, 6 times negative 2, because it's next to, whoops, because it's next to the parentheses, negative 12 plus 9. And finally, at the end, we're ready to add and subtract. Negative 12 plus 9 is negative 3 for our final solution. By taking the time to show our work, every step, rewriting everything but the one thing, and remembering the order, parentheses, exponents, multiply and divide, left to right, and add and subtract, left to right, we can quickly evaluate an expression.